This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Hi guys, a couple of months ago I showed you how to develop my solar power weather station. As you know, that project is inefficient, so I decided to improve it. You may be wondering how. The answer is by using an ultra low power energy harvester instead of a simple LDO with a battery manager and lastly the solar panel with a more suitable one. So in this video I will show you how I developed this simple board to study the efficiency of the energy harvester and the wall system. I call this board Objects EHDK. And if you want to know more about how I designed this board, I leave the link of the repo below in the description. And now let's start with the basics of energy harvester. The most difficult things about developing this board was component selection. In fact my goal was to compare two energy harvesters, but the problem is which one to choose. So for a couple of days I searched for the two best energy harvesters with a very good performance price ratio. You should know that these chips are quite expensive compared to a microcontroller such as the ESP32. So the main features that a good energy harvester must have, the first one is the boost converter with a maximum power point tracking controller, is a technique used with a variable power source like uh, a solar panels to maximize the energy extraction. The energy harvester should have the ability to connect a battery or a supercapacitor and uh, an integrated LDO for my controller and sensor. And lastly, a battery protection with a load cutoff for battery life, I mean to increase the battery life of the device. So after some research I found these two chips. The first one is the SPVU 1050 by ST Microelectronics and the second is the ADP 5091 by analog device. Are both great, however, as you can see the ADP is twice uh, expensive and for now we don't care much about the price. Unfortunately the SPV is out of stock right now, but I was able to get two units for this uh, first prototype. First of all let's start soldering the board and thank you again PCBWay for sponsoring this project. I have been using PCBWay to manufacture my PCBs for 3 years and they have never disappointed me. Their customer service is always available to help you. Also they have 3D printing and CNC machining service. If you have an idea for a project, PCBWay can manufacture it. For placing small components, it is essential to have the right equipment. A digital microscope like my D249S by Endostars helps so much in soldering SMD components. I leave you the link below to buy it. So guys, before we start uh, with the test, I want to show you the board, so it's uh, a fast review. This one is the battery connector for this specific uh, energy harvester, and this one is the other battery connector for uh, this uh, energy harvester. Instead here we have uh, the connector for solar panel, and the same uh, here for other uh, energy harvester. And here we have the output connector for sensor, microcontroller, etc. And finally the coin cell socket, it's the backup battery for the ADP energy harvester and can also be used as the main battery of the SPV energy harvester. And now we finally start with some tests. The first test I did was to connect a small monocrystalline solar panel to the SPV. As you can see the solar panel is exposed to sunlight coming from my window. I did not connect any load or the battery, so it's just the solar panel with the energy harvester. 
So I analyzed the performance of the circuit with my oscilloscope and this is the result. So the yellow signal is the solar panel while the blue signal is the regulated 3.3 voltage output of the energy harvester. Remember there is no load connected and that's why it can keep the output voltage stable. It's a simple test to try the solar panel together with an energy harvester. Now let's do more in-depth tests. To make the test more reliable, because uh, my goal is to simulate an IoT device, we will use uh, as a load this dev board I made for this test. This board is based on the microcontroller NRF5284.0, into I which uploaded a test firmware, it's a LED blinking, and the red LED is connected to the microcontroller via 220 ohm resistor, it's to simulate a load like a sensor or a driver, I don't know. The next step was to measure the power consumption of the load using Nordic's power profiler kit. I did the test by powering the load at 1.8V and 3.3V since the microcontroller works with both voltages. So at 1.8V the power consumption is about 1mA. Instead, at 3.3V the power consumption is about 2.5mA. Now with this data we know the power consumption of the load, so what we are going to do is test the individual energy harvesters and observe with the power profile kit the current that is drawn by the energy harvester to allow the load to operate properly. And this is the setup I used to test the SPV, so with the oscilloscope I measure the battery voltage and the solar panel voltage and finally the regulated output voltage. And this is the power consumption of the energy harvester by ST Microelectronics. As you can see, it's less than 1 mA. I'm happy with the result considering that the solar panel I used is not the most suitable for this specific energy harvester. It's also important to say that the regulated outputs of this energy harvester are two. The first one is the 1.8 volt and the second one is the 3.3 volt. Also, it's possible to use the two LEDs at the same time. Of course, they must be enabled. So I can decide to power the microcontroller with the output regulated at 3.3 volt and instead the sensor with the output regulated at 1.8 volt. I repeated this test by powering the microcontroller at 1.8 volt, and this is the result of the test. And the power consumption is about 400 microampere. Now let's test the ADP. This energy harvester handles the two outputs differently. The first one is not regulated, and the second one is regulated, and through a resistor you can decide the voltage. In this case, it was set at 3.3 volt. So the ADP is set in boost mode, as you can see the power consumption is similar to the SPV, and also by changing the brightness of the spotlight the output voltage from the solar panel also changes and therefore the battery consumption. Ok guys, what I have shown you are the first tests I have done. To test all features of the two energy harvesters a video would not be enough. The goal of this video is to introduce the topic for the future projects and the future videos. As you can understand, it's a complex topic and I have a lot to learn about energy harvesting. In the future I plan to buy more monocrystalline solar panels and also test some and other energy harvesters. So later we will be ready to develop the first optimized IoT device. And that's it. Thank you for watching until the end. If you have any advice please write it below in the comments. And thank you again PCBWay for sponsoring this project. And see you next time.